1 Peter 4, 17 reads, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Verse 18 says, And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? I have a few words to share that the Lord has been giving me over this year. Um, I will give the date and the time that he spoke the said word, and then I will read a few scriptures um, at the conclusion of his words. On 323 of this year, the Lord spoke about rebuilding his church off of the storefront ministries. Um, he said the ones that are despised and overlooked for the mega, meaning the mega churches. He says, I am a mega God that gives mega power even in the small groups, the small churches. That's what's, That's what truly makes a church mega, not the size, not the quantity. I could care less about your numbers. How many people have you helped deliver? How many souls have you won for my kingdom? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many, he says. And he says, you are worried about padding membership while your members are dying spiritually. Also on 323, it says, I will elevate those that are not trying to make a name for themselves. They shall have a name. Their name shall be known, but it will be because it's my doing and it's not their motivation. I will elevate the lowest of these. Those that walk in humility, those that fear me, those that are not mixed and mingled with the world, those that have not brought the world into my church, those that have not been influenced by the world, but they themselves influence the world. On 4-2 of this year, for a short time, he says there will be mayhem and confusion because people have put their faith in man. They shall return back to my son. For far too long, my people have had their eyes gazed on man. They shall return unto my son. His death was not in vain. Um, he spoke of how he removed the white church, the white evangelical church's idol, which is Trump. And even though he removed him from his position, did not allow him to be reelected, people still are in idolatry to Trump. Um, people still are releasing words saying he's going to be reinstated. And um, God's people, some of God's people are hanging on to those every words. And it's not true. He's not going to be reinstated. And then he goes on to say that he will now, he will remove the black church's idol. And we know there was words God gave me last year saying there is no white church, no black church um, in his kingdom. But in this word on 4-2, because we had, we are so separated into the the white church and the black church and um, the black church wants to keep the black church, the black church. Um, so he is saying he has removed Trump and now he will remove the black church's idol. <sighs> on 4-6, he spoke and said, many will be discovered for not being on my side. I will pull down and I will lift up. I do the promoting as well as the demoting. After the shock waves of the exposure that's coming, many will emerge. They will stand in their positions. They will stand strong and preach my word. They will not add nor take away from my word. They are the salt of the earth. They will let their light so shine that men will see their good works and glorify me. Their works will not be in vain. Their works will not be for show. They will be to glorify me. And let me back up to when I spoke about what he had said on 4-2 about there being, for a short time, there would be mayhem and confusion. He's saying because, he spoke that because of the people that he is going to reveal that is not on his side. He is going to separate the wheat from the tear. And there's a lot of tears 
that a lot of us in his kingdom have looked up to in ministry. I include myself from the time that I first came to the Lord. There's people that I used to watch and listen to that he has now revealed that they're they're not even with him. He's going to expose them. And so the confusion is going to come from, not from God, but it's going to come from ourselves, our own hearts, because we just plainly put it. He said, we have idolized man. We have idolized these people in ministry. We think they can do no wrong. Um, When a prophetic word comes forth about how God's going to expose them, we tear down the person that is releasing the word um, because we just don't believe. We don't believe it. On 8:21, God gave me a vision of an hourglass with the sand that was soon to run out. And this hourglass was in regards to T.D. Jakes. I know that I mentioned last year in December that the Lord said it had been 15 years that God had been warning him. Um, so on 821 of this year, there was an hourglass, a vision of the hourglass, but the sand soon to run out. And it was in regards to T.D. Jakes. On 821, he also spoke of sex trafficking that is happening in the body of Christ. He says it's a lucrative business. It will be exposed. Jesus. Jesus. I will expose my own body to root out those that are damaging it. He says many don't believe. Excuse me. Many don't believe I would expose my own body. Truth is many never belong to me. They were never mine. They infiltrated and now I am removing the cancer. He says demolition is coming to the body of Christ. Straight demolition. Then he says I will rebuild from the ground up. On 9-6, destruction will come to my body by way of exposure. The Goliath of my body shall be removed. T.D. Jakes will be exposed. He won't be able to wiggle his way out of the destruction. He won't be able to wiggle his way out of the exposure. I have sent several warnings, says the Lord. There is no amount of prayer that can stop the exposure. He will be naked before the world. He's going to strip him naked. He will be naked before the world. Many evil dark secrets he possesses. Those are not my words. Those are the Lord's words. On 920... He spoke of the Illuminati, saying it has many puppets. Some are in my kingdom. They feel they are safe and secure because of their alliance with their puppet master. They neglect to realize that I made all things and nothing was made without me. I created their beautiful God that went rogue. Their beautiful God, Satan, that went rogue. I created him. I have all power. He has limited powers. I am the creator. He is creation. Let me read that again. I am the creator, says the Lord. He, Satan, is creation. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Father. I have the upper hand. He says, I have the upper hand and my timing I will expose. So even those that are part of the Freemasons, a part of the Illuminati, those that are part of these secret societies, and they are working within God's kingdom, perpetrating, imposters, 
Father God is going to expose them. He will expose them. Ecclesiastes 12, 14, for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. First John 1, 6, if we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Daniel 2, 20, blessed be the name of God. This is what Daniel was speaking. Blessed be the name of God forever and ever. For wisdom and might are his. He changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Verse 22 says, he revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. Luke 12, 2, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. I pray that... Those that those of us that have been walking with the Lord and we've backslid or we've not been doing the will of our Father. We've turned from sanctification. I pray that we would return back unto Him. And when God strips somebody naked and and exposes someone. He doesn't take pleasure in that, he says. He has sent several warnings. When it comes to that, when it comes to us being stripped naked before the world, he has sent several warnings. Warning comes before destruction. He has sent several warnings. And the person has not taken heed. The person has not humbled themselves and heeded to the warnings. And when we see this destruction come, and when we see this great amount of exposure coming, because T.D. Jakes isn't the only one, but because of the things that he is doing in darkness, God calls him the Goliath, the Goliath in his body that is defiling his body. But there are others. But I pray that we do not point the finger at God. I pray we don't be upset with God. I've prayed for the members of these mega churches that God is going to allow to crumble through exposure I've prayed for the members because many are fooled. Many do not realize the leadership that they are under. Many are going to be gazed and confused, lost. I've prayed that Satan do not sift those members as wheat. I pray that they do not leave the faith. I pray they do not walk away from God. I pray that we... pray that we all would stay before the Lord. God bless you all.